up? Uh, I'm Marshall from Race Face, do a lot of the marketing here with Shauna handling the soft goods. We're going to walk you through some of our spring summer 06 line here at the 2005 Interbike Show in Las Vegas. Um, so first one up here is the uh, D8 short, uh, three quarter length as you can see for that uh, uh, urban style. We've got a lot of crotch venting to keep you cool and comfortable. Uh, slash, pockets. slash pockets for you to hold your gear, cell phone keys and such. A lot of stretch at the back keeps uh, the pants up high for when you're bent over your bike. You're not showing the guys behind you anything you don't want to show. Ratcheted buckle system, micro adjustability for uh, to dial in the fit as well. We've got the stretched band for uh, when you've had a couple burgers at Longhorns after a long day of riding. Um, lined inside for uh, for all that wicking comfort, moisture management as we like to call it in the industry. Next one up here is, uh, looks like the Rally, the Rally pant. Uh, new one into the line here for Race Face. Uh, super kind of burly fabric to withstand all the crashes uh, inherent in the sport. Seamless crotch for ultimate sitting comfort. Uh, again, you see that ratcheted belt buckle for uh, for the fit, and you got pockets throughout to hold basically anything you want to hold. So uh, next up, we're going to look at a jacket here. This one is the Shore, uh, and uh, basically good uh, good riding jacket for the weather we see on the Pacific Northwest, where it just starts raining sometime in October and doesn't stop until April. Um, 20,000 millimeter waterproof rating, 6,000 breathability, so uh, pretty good. A lot of reflective logoing here to keep you seen when you're on the street. Uh, pit zips to keep you cool and comfortable. Pockets throughout the storm flap. Little pimp features like the zipper garages fleece line collar for next to skin comfort and it's also uh, built sort of oversized to accommodate body armor you could fit the full suit underneath and uh, yeah that's the short jacket all right this one's the session pant more of a urban uh, uh, street dirt jump pant uh, and for 2006 I mean we had this one in the line for a couple of couple of years now but uh, it's kind of been beefed up for 2006 uh, as per Darren Bearclaw's request. Uh, kind of articulated knees, we got the snap on the drivetrain uh, side, so keep your pants out of your chain. Snap waist. snap waist. Not sure what the advantage of that is, I guess it's sort of easy to get it on and off. Yeah. Comfy cotton fabric and that's the session pant. So uh, we've got some changes to the armor program as well. On the free ride side of things, uh, pretty subtle changes we've adjusted the strapping just kind of tweak the size position and angle of the straps just to fine-tune the fit um, on the DH armor though we've got some more obvious uh, obvious changes we've eliminated what the uh, mesh backing that we had before in favor of what we're calling the stretch pod system uh, basically this piece of material covering your calf we've got six uh, independent adjustments to fine-tune the fit so really dial it in uh, keep the pad secure and centered on your leg we also now don't have the mesh behind your knee kind of binding up so uh, big improvement for the rally DH armor uh, got a full team on them bear claw obviously Paul Bass is rocking them Wayne Goss uh, and new UFC winner Kurt Sorge, so, uh, and then plenty of others. Obviously, Wade Simmons, how could you forget? My God, the prophet, uh, he's on those. Actually, Wade uh, was a big guy in helping design, uh, design those in the beginning, and then he's been like the big guy who's uh, told us what needs changing to, to keep improving them. So, yeah, I mean, Wade Simmons designed. And that's basically uh, some of the highlights for soft goods. We're going to go take a look at the uh, chain guide now, one of the other new things we have on the hard goods side. Okay, so for uh, on the hard goods side, uh, basically the Diabolus product that you guys know and love so much, uh, basically unchanged for 2006, are cranks, bar, stem, headset. Um, actually, headset's gotten a new bearing. 
we're all pretty excited about that. Um, otherwise, everything's uh, everything's kind of status quo on the Diabolus line, with the exception of new Diabolus chain guide. You've asked for it, now we're giving it to you. 2006. Let's check it out. Well, I mean, first of all, the kind of philosophy behind designing this product, we really wanted to address a couple of big issues that people were having with chain guides, one of them being ease of installation, the other being compatibility. So uh, we basically looked at a lot of chain guides on the market, took them apart piece by piece, and, and really analyzed them, thinking, okay, well, let's look at the boomerang. What kind of changes can we make, improvements can we make to that piece, or the upper guide plate, you know, what would work better, and so forth. Um, and by taking it apart piece by piece, improving every aspect and then putting it back together, I mean, we have a really good guide. It's got a lot of subtle changes, but uh, add up to a big ride quality difference. Uh, some of the changes I'll point out to you, if we could flip over the, uh, uh, the boomerang here. I mean, one of the things you'll see is the uh, really big slot, so you've got a lot of adjustment always. Um, we've taken a lot of material out of this boomerang, added a... Uh, stiffening rib so you know when you're hitting rocks and so forth this boomerang is going to stay straight and true uh, and also by taking out this material which wasn't really doing anything strength wise uh, we saved a lot of weight it's actually a really uh, lightweight guide um, back on the other side I mean uh, if you look at the upper guide plate the profiling on it's shaped uh, to really encapsulate the chain, you get that thing down nice and tight over the chain, so uh, really fits well as well. This kind of rounded edge here, um, you know, as opposed to some of the other chain guides where where this comes down to a sharp point and ends up jamming on the chain as the guide goes through its motion, uh, is going to work a lot better. Chain's going to rub along it uh, a lot more smoother, which contributes to uh, to a better ride. Uh, it's compatible with internal, external BBs, ISCG mounts, and non. Um, and in terms of ease of installation, I mean, this whole thing, when you open up the box, comes in two pieces. That's one, and that's the other. You're not kind of pre-assembling your guide before you assemble it on the bike. And I think, uh, I think riders are going to be pretty stoked when uh, they see the amount of time that they're going to save in assembling this guide. So, uh, yeah, I mean, really uh, lightweight bash guard, actually. Weight comes in at about 385, uh, 385 grams with the bash guard. And uh, pricing on this thing is super competitive, 195 suggested retail in Canada. In terms of the bash guard, available in two sizes, a 36 tooth and a 40 tooth. Um, the guide actually will accommodate a 44 tooth ring. Um, right now, the biggest our bash guards go is 40 tooth, but uh, look for bigger ones down the road. And you know, and that's our Diablos chain guide. So there you go, uh, some of the highlights from uh, our booth here at 2005 Interbike Las Vegas. Uh, thanks for uh, checking it out, and keep her tuned to Rip TV.